welcome to another episode of CJ Discovery. Today we are going to do a salt powered robot made by Green Science. It um, looks like it's another 4M deal. We were so mesmerized with how cute he is on the box. And he is supposed to be powered by salt. The box says we have everything that we need except for like a cup, water, and salt. I'm going to guess based on the fact that he has screws for eyes that we probably need a screwdriver as well. I guess we'll see when we get in there. They might actually have some little tool in there. Who knows? Let's find out. Oh. Oh. Cardboard. <laughs> what if we need that? <laughs> I don't think we do. We do, it's right over there. Okay, inside the box we have a page full of not English, and then we have a page full of English. And I guess English people get uh, pictures. We have pictures. These people do not. The instructions say the parents should read it before giving guidance to the children, so apparently they think that they cannot do it by themselves. Other than that, it just gives us this little box of parts that has a little dropper in it, and... And then, I don't know what the little thing is. We're going to read the instructions and be right back in a few minutes. Okay, we've read through all the instructions. They don't seem too complicated. We might have a couple problems. But before we get started, I do want to say that after reading through the instructions, we discovered that there are actually what they consider battery packs that you have to put together. And apparently, these each only have about an hour in them. Um, it says you need to stop them and dry them out if you don't want it to use up all the power in one setting. That means that, unfortunately, you only have about two hours worth of operating robot in this kit. Um, it does give you a website where you can order more. However, that means that you do have to have some sort of outside source that costs extra money. I guess I was kind of hoping that it just had some sort of contacts that the salt made run. I don't know if I know what I'm talking about, but that's what I thought when I bought the kit. But apparently you have to have these little things. But anyway, that's that. The first step is that we are supposed to pop off these off of here, and it says you can use fingernail clippers to clip off any little extra parts that's on it. Yeah, we're using, we'll see if we need them. Let's go ahead here. You want to go ahead and pop them off? That's not going to help. I <laughs> know. Here. I'm going to, while you're doing that, I'm going to open up this stuff. Along with those little plastic things, it looks like we have two little axles with wheels. One has a gear, one doesn't. Josh is throwing <laughs> stuff across the room. It's not a very big robot. It seems like it's going to be tiny. The instructions make it seem like you probably don't need a screwdriver, actually, because you're just pushing it into the slots. They're not actually there to hold anything together, just to look like little cutie eyes. We've got everything apart, and now the first set of instructions say that we're supposed to put these into this. There's a slot for the gear, so he's... <coughs> While you're doing that part, I am going to try to hook... Done. Wait. Done. It says clip, so they are ideally supposed to clip into slots. There we go. Ew. You just had to put a little force on it. I didn't want to break them. I understand. I, that's why I wasn't clipping it. There we go. They just clip right in. That's why I wasn't pushing either. So you were putting it in the right direction. There we go. Yeah, now they see when this turns, that makes look. When this turn, that makes that turn. Yep. Now we gotta attach the arms on. Yeah. Is it supposed to look like this? Yep, he's really tiny. He's a little guy. And it looks like we just gotta put this on here. So go ahead and put that. Now those are his eyes, so you gotta face them front forward. Here, you can hold it. Okay, and then you... Ah! I just dropped an eyeball on the lap. <laughs> You're supposed to put those into those little holes. Can't. Let me see. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Yes, hammering it. That is the best solution. Let's see if maybe using a little screwdriver helps. 
It says push the eyes in. The little screwdriver seems to work a lot better than that. You want to do the other one? Yes. Okay, we've got this little guy assembled. Now we just have to assemble the battery portion of him um, the way the instructions tell us. So, we're going to do that. Let's see. It says... The blue... Did I see it? Red right there and the blue... Wait, I mean, I got mixed up. Okay, we've got the first eight steps done. Now we're actually assembling the battery itself, and we have a battery cover left. So there are instructions... So there's basically three parts. It has a fabric sheet, an aluminum sheet, and a carbon sheet. There is, like I said, there's enough to make two batteries in here, so there's two of everything. And it tells you how to stack it inside of this little plastic battery case. So let's see if we can attempt this. So it looks like this is fairly clearly marked, just like this had a B and an R for the blue wire and the red wire. And this is marked with an A and a C for aluminum and carbon. Um, I didn't notice them at first. The instructions said they were there, and I tilted it, and you could see them there. So we're going to try to do that. Let's see. Okay, after a little bit of finagling, we've got this battery thing together. I kind of expected it to snap together, and it really doesn't seem to. I don't know if that's faulty with ours, but it just kind of sits loosely on top of here. Well, we've got him, and it looks like the instructions say that we're going to make our salt water now, and that you're going to drip a little bit of salt into here make this all wet um, and then he is supposed to go so we're going to attempt to do that I've got a flat board for this to sit on and see if it runs okay so we've got a little bit of water here so we've got a little bit of water here we're actually supposed to put salt in here and stir it until it won't hold any more salt it looks like you only need a little bit so we've just put a tiny bit into this cup and we're going to go from there here. Do it like you mean it. There we go. Thank you. That's probably it. <laughs> you can do a little more. Okay, that's plenty. <laughs> We're done doing it like we mean it. There. Okay, we have really salty salt water here. So we're going to pull it in for a little bit different camera angle here so we can see this puppy go. Okay, we've got our little guy ready to go. This is the little battery pack. Now what we're supposed to do is put the salt water with the dropper into here. It says that you just need a few drops and then you're going to put this battery pack into here and if it's all good and connected then it should just start to move. And the only way to stop him is just to remove the battery pack. So Josh, go ahead. The idea is that you're going to soak the fabric sheet that's between the carbon and the aluminum sheet. So you're not supposed to need a whole lot, just a little. Are you supposed to slide it in? It looks like it slides. Yep. Nothing. Mwah, mwah. All right, so we're going to move on to the troubleshooting section. Let's see what it says. Okay. When the camera was off and we were trying to read the troubleshooting, he just randomly started to go. Maybe touch his wheels and see if he'll go. So the first step does say that maybe you need to touch the wheels and let the... to get the motor started here. Just push it in, make sure all the... Ah! Wow! Yeah, that's fast. <laughs> that was fast. Yeah. He's a fast little guy. Three, two, one. <laughs> it definitely works. We didn't actually have to fiddle with it while we were reading the troubleshooting. He just went flying across the room. So <laughs> apparently we just didn't wait long enough for the salt to soak through to the fabric sheets. But off he went. He's cute. I'm a little disappointed with the whole you have to take the battery apart and it's only going to last about two hours without having to order more. Uh, but he is a cute little guy. He's also very tiny, as you saw. His face is adorable. 
Yes? Yes. He does go really fast, like, and I was really surprised with how much he went flying across the room. The instructions say that if you are not going to keep using him, you need to take the battery apart and let the little sheet dry, because otherwise the reaction will keep happening and you will use up your battery. So if you're only going to play with it for a few minutes and then you want to put it back together later, you need to take it apart. We got this kit at Hobby Lobby for $11.99. What did you think? Two thumbs up. Even the robot, he says... <laughs> the robot gives two thumbs up? Yeah. He doesn't really have thumbs. He has, like, Lego hands. So he gives he gives two Lego claws up. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. They can't really go up. <laughs> there. He gives two Lego claws straight forward. <laughs> I enjoy the kit. He's fun. He is very, very adorable. He moves really fast. He wasn't very hard to put together. The instructions were good and easy to follow. Um, my only disappointment is the whole issue with the battery. I've said that enough. But other than that, it was a lot of fun. Thank you for joining us on this episode of CJ Discovery. Be sure to click that like button below. Give us a thumbs up. Also, click subscribe if you'd like to see more. We're putting these out every Saturday. We're having a lot of fun doing it. Also, if you have any suggestions or you've seen any kits that you'd like to see us try, be sure to leave a comment below. Let us know. We'd love to hear from anybody. Thanks for joining us. Go forth and discover. Bye. It's a little hard to videotape if you're standing there. It's really hard to videotape like this. Thank you. You want to call, 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 call? Call, call, call. I don't know who won. How do you tell who won? I don't know. Input. No disassemble. Johnny Five is alive.